Okay, this is a little bit of an update to the LCD display driver. Um, I already have one person that's getting the display. I'm giving a couple of these out for you to try. Uh, one of the things that I was told to do is to work on square boxes and field to be able to use those as buttons. Uh, the counting and the font size and stuff is still there. Um, I have this in a mode where it displays up the top uh, some of the coordinates and uh, the pressure values just for a test. Um, this still has the scaling feature. It also has the ability to where if you hold it for a couple seconds it will clear the display. Let me go ahead and shrink this down to where you know, say a really, really tiny dot. And I expand the size of the dot. Hold it down for a couple seconds. Anyway, so I'm working on the driver. I'm still working on the line feature, and I'm working on a little bit of a bug with the uh, the square box. But it, the feel works. It feels really rapidly. Um, I also doubled the speed of the uh, text characters. So uh, the tiny characters take about 0.6 milliseconds to display. The large characters take about 12 milliseconds to display per character. Um, I'm integrating the touch into a driver. Uh, it looks like the uh, MIT license is valid to be used, but there's some complications because of whatever um, uh, for how the RepRap firmware works. To I'm going to modify the way the driver works a little bit so that it will uh, no longer be an MIT license in the future. It will be uh, public licensed uh, from me because it's going to be my own design. But for now, it still uses the MIT uh, touch driver. But it's kind of cool. It's very responsive. Um, let's go ahead and see if I can. Uh, it's still still has some issue with the shrinking. Uh, but uh, expanding is easy. Um, Hold it for a couple seconds, and it will uh, erase everything but the print button. You can you can play around. To, there we go. You can play around with the size of the dot if you want, but you can uh, you can grow the size of the dot. Touch the screen for a couple seconds. Uh, one of the things I'm also trying to do is make it so you can double tap and triple tap and and single tap and so that the driver will know so that you won't need to worry about that you'll just ask it what it did and but um, <clears throat> anyway so this is running on uh, 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 Arduino at Mega um, I've already got some uh, uh, serial shift registers that I'm going to make this run serial as well as parallel so I'm working on that next uh, but anyway bear with me uh, I'm updating it as fast as I get time to. Alright, uh, feel free to try it. This is now uh, updated on Thingiverse to driver version 2, um, or, or the second version I've uploaded, which includes the uh, the square box and the square box feel uh, optimized for um, uh, uh, people to incorporate into firmware.